Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back to some EU4, where we are clapping some auto blob cheeks. You guys know that that always feels good. Let's uh, build up a couple more dry docks here. We need to make sure we have as many sailors coming in every single month as humanly possible. With that, I think we need to state up some stuff over here. Definitely. The high autonomy in these provinces over here is hurting our sailors. So let's see here. I'm not really too bothered by admin tech. I think we're actually maxed out on how much we can get. Yeah, so we don't need admin anymore. So core all. I guess we're just going to core it as we can. That's fine. Kosovo. <gasps> Nani. Revolution is fully present here. There we go. These auto blobs are just taking a bunch of attrition over there, which is funny. So these guys are ready to group back up. These guys are going to head on over. Let's have them force marching, actually. Because the Ottomans are... <laughs> they have so many men. They're <laughs> just piling them on. All right, so as soon as we finish up... Um, as soon as these guys break free and we kill those rebels, we should be good. 18 months, so just waiting. That's all. Get those guys over as well so we can start doing some carpet siege. Very important. Look at this, dude. That's nuts. All right, cool. So let's let them head out. Cool. So let's get this general 6-6. Six, six. And then have these guys head in. Be reinforced. Hopefully stack wipe. Just kidding. We don't do that. Very good. And they actually got me out of here. I am done with this game, man. Okay, cool. So let's see if we can at least just like bait them into getting scared and docking their ships. That's that's what I really want. Yeah, that's all I'm trying to do here. Very good. They're taking attrition over here as well. So the longer they're out at sea, actually, the better for us. Get you guys down there. Have these guys hum come on over this way. Okay. That fort will handle that one. That one we need to go over there for. Let's take Sugla back. These guys will be our carpet siege stack. Is this really my entire manpower army? Like, am I missing an army stack somewhere? Yeah, they're really all mercs. So we don't need these guys here anymore. Let's just get rid of them. Save the money. And then let's also... We need one more stab. So we're getting pretty close to that. That's good. Very good. Something like this. These guys head over here. Our revolutionary zeal is going up, which is nice. Definitely. It's definitely going up. This is good to see. Good so good uh, siege network over here, or spy network, with some siege ability. Looks like the Mughals are not really doing much over here, but uh, they are running a distraction, which is good. All these mountain two, level two mountain forts. I'm all right with it. Cool. So we don't have sailors, so let's get those guys back home. Far from ideal, yes. Two tons of order. Right, so we're at war. So they're not going to form Prussia until we peace out, but they will form Prussia. I'm confident of that. Right, so I thought that I had said for these guys to occupy that, but apparently I didn't, sadly. Those guys over there. These guys come over here. Do this. So now we have eight. Here we go. Those guys need to be a little careful, but we should be fine. Yes, our revolutionary zeal is exploding now. This is great. This is great. We're good. This is nice. Yeah, they're they're a great distraction. I'm actually impressed. Are they number two? 
Oh, they're not even close. They're number six. Cool. So as we get some sailors, we will eventually get these guys reinforced with some more. There we go. Because we need a lot more. Um, he's pretty young, yeah? Let's do it. Those guys will break free here in four months, which is fine. Okay, so... Let's just flee, get these guys all grouped up. They'll actually do nothing, which is fine. So if we could actually get a doom stack over here, this would be great for us. Where are you guys heading? Tekka? This is fine. So as soon as they lock in, we will force march down there. It's a 26 stack with no general. Easy clap. Infantry shock, improved flanking range. I don't care about that. Um, but I will take the increased better boys. Uh, let's go with impulse, I think is what we want. Yeah, impulse. Better morale. Very good. Let's come back over here, take his capital. These guys are just going to peace out eventually. That's They're pretty worthless. There we go. I'll get my stab up here in a moment. I'm not really too concerned about it. Our uh, zeal is maxed out now, which is great. Oopsies. Yeah, this probably isn't good, but... Oh yeah, it's a lot of manpower. But uh, we still win because we have superior morales. Which I like to see for sure. There we go. Oops, I think I messed that up. No, we're good. Very good. And uh, just need to win these guys down. I can actually... So I don't know what I really want from this one. I think... Coast is the big one. So like all these islands here. Might as well... Take like... Is there a board over there? Ugh. Do I have any transports at all? I have one transport. So much for that one, but we can make our way all the way down here. It's only 120 over extension, which is definitely doable. We'll see. It's going to be a minute before we're piecing out of this war, no doubt. This is good. So, let's take a look here. Do they have any loans at all? No. <laughs> they have no loans. None. Very good. So. There we go. And we are gladly making progress here, gaining 300 a month, so that's two heavy ships, or three heavy ships every two months, so that's good. We're beating up these sieges over here. Remember, this is with, you know, very few cannons, so this is good for us. They've chosen wisely, yes. Uh, sure, so here's some Diplo points, take them. I don't care. go let's beat these guys up let's um you know just stack out stack wipe as many as we can oh the ottomans have cores over here right of course so let's go up there stab is coming very soon Governing capacity isn't helping either. So let's build as many of these guys as possible. This will save us money on governing costs, but more importantly, it will save us um, uh, governing capacity, which is the actual issue we have here. So let's do this, and then we're going to do something sneaky. We're going to scorch the earth here so these guys can't reinforce. Ha ha ha. So whenever they want to do anything... Oh right, so we're maxed out on Diplo, so let's take that tech. And uh, we're not going to take that tech though. Let's take this positive stab here. There we go. 
The revolution is over. So we actually gain some admin, which is fine. Uh, we are automatically set to maximum zeal, which is great. Good. So, we just need to make sure we're getting all their forts here. So let's come on over here and see if we can get these guys, because I'm pretty sure they came in from here, so if we come over here, they can't get away. And we can wipe them out on the mountain fort, which is great, with our 6-5 general. Oh, they got a disease outbreak. Happy days. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Look how many men they're losing! Uh, sure. Look at that, dude. It's crazy. Alright, so how are they looking? They've lost 400 to my 300, roughly. Can't call that a necessarily a decisive victory, but the fact that they haven't occupied a single province for me, it's pretty good. So, let's see here. Uh, continue converting. And we are now gaining monthly fervor, which is good. From what we're looking for, we need 313. So, we will just, uh, you know... Continue to siege him down until that point. And we're just hanging out, cooling, chilling. If they want to go- ooh, are they going to Ankara? No, they're not, sadly. Sure, I'll take the admin. Gaining very little inflation. So this is good. I'm taking 1.2 attrition, they're taking 1.8 with a stack much bigger. And uh, they seem to be forgetting that I can actually afford these losses. They have zero manpower. They still have no mer- no uh... What's the word I'm looking for? No uh... Um, what in the world? Gain revolutionary zeal... For stab cost? I don't care. I want these guys in power for the discipline. It's too strong not to use it. Okay. So this is good. Yeah, you can see that they're losing some manpower there. So, they'll be there on the 16th. I can be there on the 14th. And they're gonna take a straight crossing. Or a river crossing. So they're gonna take very heavy losses here. I'm taking losses, but not nearly as much. Look at all those cannons they lost. That's very expensive. And their manpower pool is slowly shrinking. Now they only have 65,000 men left. It's pretty good. They're not coming back from this one. No chance. People are leaving the coalition against us. Because they know they literally have no chance. Just so Switzerland is going to be up here in a year. Or not Switzerland. Uh, France, rather. I don't care about Spain's opinion of me. Spain can, uh, you know, schlomb the knob. Something like that. Let's have these guys, mercs over here, chase them down. Mosul is drylands, but they have low morale, which is great. We were flanking them real hard. So look, like, we lost a lot of men, but they lost a ton of cannons. Very big deal. Let's see if we can track those guys down. So our guy is dead, sadly. Um, I think we can probably switch over to military candidate. He's young, which is nice. What is he? Stab cost. Would have been nice to have had that a minute ago. So it looks like we can actually. Head back down, catch him while he's on low morale. Ah, this is mountains, but still, probably not the worst. No, not you guys. You guys can siege that down. That's fine. Oh, yikes. Okay. Looks like my guys are getting actually clapped for, mer for manpower, which is annoying. So let's get these guys over here. Let these guys recover some manpower from their pool here. There we go. 
Is this his entire army? It is. That's his entire army right here. About to get wiped. Goodbye, mammies. Or auto blob, I mean. Cool. So we have the, the admin to core up all this stuff, so we shall. Uh, Moogles will get nothing. They were a great punching bag for the auto blob. We'll take your war reps. We'll take all of your money. And you will... Um, Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So let's take all the islands here. Can I take roads? Man, they won't let me take roads. So annoying. That fort, man. <laughs> so we're taking a bunch of forts from him as well. So let's take Ankara and let's take Haleb and Sham. So that's taking like basically all of his forts. Minus like the ones over here. We can afford it. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of overextension. It's not a big deal. It's really not. Um, and we'll take... More reps and then as much money as the piece will allow us, and there we go. That's how you beat up on the auto blob there. Now you can see we're actually under our governing capacity, which is good. Helps out. We're gonna definitely need to build more of those guys, so let's continue to do that. So check this out. Before we declare any wars, we're gonna rival Russia. Now check this out. Let a month go by. They should do it. Come on now. Why don't you do it? Hey, Prussia. <laughs> My man. So. I don't think there's a way to like force them to go revolutionary. It just happens on their own. Um, and so we're going to attack France here. In uh, November. So let's have you guys march. Over here. And then these guys will probably just hang out and suppress rebels, because they're going to happen, 100%. Let's uh, add these guys to trade companies. There we go. And with this guy here. Nice. Actually, we're getting a decent bit of trade from uh, Aleppo here. Might be worth even steering now. says we have zero, but I don't believe that at all. Maybe just until we core it, I suppose? There we go. Let's switch over to... Trade focus. We don't really need a lot of stuff to worry about these guys. So this is good, because this will split up any possible coalition. Scandinavia will help, sadly. Huh. It's fine. Who is this? Revolutionary who? Great Britain. <laughs> They're allied. What kind of color? What in the world kind of flag is this? Okay, so... Let's see. Are you sure you don't want to attack? You don't want to... Not defend them? Whatever. Ottoman Separatists. That's fine. Once those rebels pop, they won't pop again, so I don't care. Good. So now we have no unrest in these areas. Just some over here, which we can handle. Let's have those guys head over there. And let's have these guys suppress these islands. Those guys are heading home. People are going to join the coalition. It's not an issue. It's totally fine, actually. Let's have these guys. This is a show superiority war, so all we need to do is kill if, kill off their armies. Look at this. We're good. Uh, he's going to march a ton of men down in here. Honestly, I need to make sure that I have my forts upgraded. I do have some, but looks like he needs his forts upgraded. He's a march after all. How many men do you have there, Prussia? Not very many. So let's say you need to have some subsidies here of like, let's go with like 30 ducats a month forever because you deserve it. Trade income has gone up. We are actually very close to economic hegemon if we wanted it, but we don't want it. So there we go. As the money comes in, we will continue to um, build these ships. 
And it looks like the next episode is probably going to be our last one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this campaign. And if you have, make sure that you please do show your support. It really helps out more than you know. Leaving a like is one of the biggest ways you can uh, help the ne help the channel out. So let's see here. Let's see if we can catch these boys here. Yeah, we can. How's that? Oh, pow! Goodbye. That is one dead French stack right there. Couldn't care less. Yeah, we're at war with a bunch of people. Commonwealth is in our coalition. Scandinavia is the one that I'm a little concerned about. They're the ones who probably have the most men. Nah, Great Britain does, but Great Britain won't do anything. Doesn't matter. Oh, I need to build some of these guys. So I'd had somebody that had mentioned if it borders both sea tiles, it will give them the attrition there. That's what I thought it was, and somebody told me that it doesn't, so I really am not entirely sure what's what, honestly. So let's just do that there. Build that there. So just I, I do it just for redundancy, just to make sure that things go. Um, so for those of you who don't know, like for the example, if I build one in this Cotentin, it would, hurt, it would do the channel as well as the Straits of Dover. Um, they would be getting the attrition no matter what. Um, but, like I said, just to be safe, I do it on each sea tile just to make sure. Alright, so let's make sure we are occupying as many boys as possible here. Where are we getting these rebels at? Oh yeah, that's a big stack down there in Damascus. Let's go handle them. These guys were supposed to come over here, and they didn't. That's a bummer. Okay. Oh, yep. Lots of rebels again. We are overextended, of course. Let's have these guys handle rebels. Greek separatists, huh? Those are Lesbos separatists. See what I did there? It's always time for jokes, chat. And let it be known, I have nothing but love in my heart for each and every one of you. And anyone else out there for that matter. Except for the Dutch. No, I'm just kidding. Love for you guys as well. There's only two types of people in this world that I can't stand. Those that are... You know, uh, see, I forgot the word. <laughs> people who are inconsiderate of other people's cultures and the Dutch. Well, we might be able to get a wipe on these boys. How you feel about that, Britain? Good thing you came to help them out, idiot. How's that feel, man? How you feel about that, idiot? You're supposed to keep me from getting attacked. Very good. That is a 70k stack of French separatists. Casual. Let's head on over here, see if we can get them to attack into the uh, mountains over there. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, lots of rebels. Rebels, rebels, rebels. Luckily, these are all merc stacks, so I don't care. Okay, I don't care about Cologne either. You guys gonna gum up here? That'd be cool if you did. Come on now. Do something. There you go. Beautiful. That's exactly what we were looking for. More rebels. Crazy rebels all over the place. Oh yeah, look! This is fun and interesting! Hey! I'm having a good time. Being overextended is fun. <laughs> Though we shouldn't have any more, so that's good. Not after this month. Get those guys down there, move them down. Stupid events. The Mamluks are full occupying the Ottomans, very good. There you go. Sieging down Prague, like you do. You now lo no longer have overextension. I love it. Okay, cool, let's get those guys actually 
yeah, that's fine. And then Kosovo will get occupied by a fort. So will that one. Put these guys up here. And uh, let's do one last build before the end of the episode here. And there we go. That's it. Now we just got to wait. So next episode's going to be the last one. We're going to have a fun finale. I hope you guys have enjoyed the campaign up to this point. And if you have, please share your support. Leave a like, subscribe, and ding the bell. And don't forget to check out the Patreon if you want to support us. This is going to be linked below as well as our Discord. We have a lot of fun people over there. And, uh, you know, myself included, of course. If you want to hang out with us over there, it's going to be linked in the description below. And uh, that's it. So this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And a big special thanks to my top November patrons, Drunk Binary, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, M. Dressel, Blonde Damon, Corbett Gaming, T. Jarden, Disdain, Jake Hutchell, RJ Pilot, and many more. I appreciate you guys, and we couldn't do it without you.